Let's now shift our focus to a man who knows how to stay in the headlines. I am talking about Elon Musk, the Tesla CEO. In the last few days, he has created quite a buzz around his role in Twitter. First, he bought some 9% stake in the social media company. Then he started a poll for an edit button. Musk then announced he will not be joining the board of Twitter. And after all of that, Musk surprised the world by offering to buy Twitter, all of Twitter. How much will he be paying for it? Our next report tells you. Elon Musk bought 9.2% stake in Twitter. He started a poll for an edit button on Twitter. Then it was announced that he won't be a part of the Twitter board. All of it in the last two weeks. And Musk is not done. The Tesla CEO has now offered to buy Twitter, all of it. Musk is not content with the 9.2% stake or with being the platform's biggest shareholder. He wants Twitter all to himself. Musk says, Twitter has extraordinary potential, I will unlock it. If you have been following Elon Musk's career, you will not be surprised. This man is all about risks and drastic moves. Who leaves Stanford University in two days or thinks of building online banks in 1999? Musk did. It is now April 2022 and Elon Musk is thinking of becoming the sole owner of Twitter. In exchange, the world's richest man is offering $43 billion. He has also filed papers with American authorities. Musk being Musk shared a copy of it on Twitter. I made an offer, he tweeted. For Elon Musk, this is not a hostile takeover but a fight for free speech. I invested in Twitter as I believe in its potential to be the platform for free speech around the globe and I believe free speech is a societal imperative for a functioning democracy. However, since making my investment, I now realize the company will neither thrive nor serve this societal imperative in its current form. Twitter needs to be transformed as a private company. Twitter has called the offer unsolicited and non-binding. These are carefully chosen words, indicating exactly what the top management feels about the proposal. What Musk is offering is $54.2 per share, which rounds up to a 54% premium over Twitter's January valuation. Musk says this is his final offer. He is confident that Twitter shareholders will love it. What if they don't accept this offer? In that case, Musk will reconsider his position as a shareholder. Look at what he says. I don't have confidence in the management, nor do I believe I can drive the necessary change in the public market. That was a little too hard. In other words, sure. it's my way or the highway. Oh, Classic man. Elon Musk. On one hand, Musk has increased Twitter's valuation several folds. And on the other hand, he has raised serious questions about the site's functioning. If we were on Twitter's board, we would be having a nightmare. Let's see how Twitter users reacted to the developments. Someone said, Musk should buy football club Manchester United instead. Spend the money on the best players in the world. Win everything and then boast about it on Twitter. Every football fan's dream, isn't it? Someone posted a possible new logo for Twitter. Another said there may not be enough room for free speech if one person owns all of Twitter. A social network called Gab made a counter offer to Musk Sell your 9% Twitter stock, invest $2 billion in Gab, join Gab's board and let's take them down. Shark Tank fans, where's your popcorn at? Beyond is now available in your country. Download the app now, get all the news on the move.